have a chat, said Sir Elton, in the south of France. Who was I to say no? Especially since it's the only major interview he's giving this year. The only problem is, when it comes to talking about a 50-year career, where do you start? He's in his house. <laughs> Born in 1947, young Reg Dwight probably never imagined that turning 72, he'd be partway through an incredible 300-date farewell world tour. Have received France's highest award, the Légion d'Honneur. Be celebrating the Lion King being a box office smash hit and have released a biopic of his life along with his autobiography. It's been wonderful. Growing up in Pinner, young Elton could play the skater's waltz on the piano, aged just three. Encouraged by his nan, he went on to win a scholarship at the Royal Academy of Music. His first taste of performing involved playing piano in pubs. A couple of nights the fight would start, so I had to go out the window. I'm not stupid, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Which later led to playing organ in the band Bluesology. But it was meeting writing partner Bernie Taupin that would change Elton's life forever. He's probably more important than me because he has to write the words before I write the music. Selling over 300 million albums, he's won countless awards including five Grammys, five Brit Awards, oh, and an Oscar. I never thought in my life I would be holding one of these. Leading a life even more colourful and outrageous than his many costumes, Sir Elton is a music legend that's written the manual on being famous and has survived to tell the tale. I'd like to become a legend, but I don't think I will be because they're so very, very special. Uh, well, first of all, Sir Elton John, thank you very much for inviting us to your home. Thank you uh, for coming. I know. Imagine living here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it strikes me this must be a very strange time for you because you you're a very much what's next kind of guy right. and here you are you're doing all this kind of looking back yeah yeah you're right there's the farewell tour there's the film and then there's the book i mean i very rarely look back um but i've had to obviously with a book you have to go right back to the beginning 